Mabuhay! I am Jean Parpado. And I am Crystal Faith Rigala. And we are from BSIT 2A. And today, we are going to criticize the story entitled Sinigang by Marie Aubrey Villaseran. Marie Aubrey Villaseran is a professor at the Department of English and Comparative Literature in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. She has a BA and MA in Creative Writing from the University of the Philippines and was conferred a PhD in Sociology by La Trobe University in Melbourne, Australia. The story Sinikang is all about how Liza deals with the issue of her father who had an extramarital affair with Sylvia and consequently had a son named Lem. The story took place in Liza's home where she and her aunt Tita Loling were cooking sinigang which is her father's favorite dish. Now, let us know how the story sinigang goes. Liza, while giving her Tata Loling an extra hand in the kitchen to make sinigang, answered her queries about what happened when she met Sylvia. She told her that she met Sylvia at a funeral looking pretty, but to her, she was not just as pretty as her mother. Sylvia was the one to approach her first and knelt before her, weeping. Sylvia asked for forgiveness from her, but she maintained an impassive face as she looked down at her. Only when she nodded that she stood up and hugged her right after. Her father at that moment was asleep. And when he finally saw her, he was not surprised and rather quipped. He's glad that she came to the funeral of her half-brother, Lem, her father and his other woman, Sylvia's son. When Lem was alive, he was not the nicest to Liza. In the church, Lem was an acolyte, but what he would always call her is San Vergüenza, the shameless daughter. She grew up as a daddy's girl and knowing her father's betrayal has broken her heart. Her father apologized to her, and the sinigang that she is cooking will be served to dinner just like how it has always been in their house. But she knows things will never go back to how they were before, after everything that has happened. Still in her memory, she looked at her father. Her father told her that he is sorry, which is the word that she was waiting for. She then decided to forgive her father and reveal their lost connection little by little. Back at the present, Liza already imagined her family sitting in the dinner table and her father complimenting her cook then giving him a smile that would never quite show. Apologizing is one of the lessons that we learn from the story entitled Sinigang because it's pointless to excuse your mistake if you've done something bad. Accept responsibility and learn from your mistakes. Also, ensure that you do not repeat the same mistake because the best approach to express regret is to change your behavior. Second is forgiving. Sometimes, receiving an apology is all that is required for someone to accept the situation and move on. It is easier said than done, but forgiveness makes everything better. It is possible to learn to forgive both the person and the circumstances. Another lesson that we learned from the story Sinigang was faithfulness. Being faithful to one person and choosing to be faithful at all times make the relationship stronger. As shown in the story, cheating and betrayal have led to major changes in their family and hurt a lot of people. Aside from faithfulness, we also learn acceptance. Things in our lives do not always turn out the way we want them to. However, in order to live a peaceful life, one must learn to accept this reality. Having happiness means having peace of mind. The story shows that adultery can have lasting impacts on partners and children the couple may have. Grief, brain changes, behaviors down the road, and mental health conditions such as anxiety, chronic stress, and depression can result. 
It can also affect the other partner both physically and mentally, making them experience anxiety and depression. And for us, adultery was not ordinary. And as a Filipino, we believe that it is a disgrace to our culture and should not be tolerated or accepted as an everyday occurrence in our society for whatever reason. Marriage is the union of a man and a woman, a holy ceremony that must be respected and last forever regardless of what circumstances may arise or occur. Husband and wife must forever remain faithful to one another and should not destroy their reputation as well as their own family and the exchange of vows that they have made in front of many people for that reason. Furthermore, the most important thing I learned from the short story Sinigang is that people are prone to making mistakes in life. There are some small errors but they are frequently critical errors. Finally, you must be humble enough to admit your inconsistencies and seek forgiveness. Life is sour in general, much like sinigang, but it tastes distinctly delicious due to various ingredients that comprise the dish. Our lives are complicated, but when you consider everything that has happened to us, there are many challenges, but every lesson we learn enriches our lives. Sinigang is a metaphor for the various ways in which we can live our life. It may be sour because of all the negative experiences, family troubles, and so on. But these issues are ultimately what make our lives wonderful. In terms of implementing this lesson to my own life, it will be in the way that I will continue to pursue and live my aspirations in life, regardless of the problems and hardships that I may face and endure. Whether I make a mistake or others make mistakes to me, I will always attempt to seek for forgiveness and forgive those who sin or make mistakes against me, since that is life, and no matter what happens, we must continue and go on. Thank you for listening to our video presentation. Once again, I am Jean Parpado and I am Crystal Faith Regala, leaving a quote, Cheating on your spouse is like throwing away a diamond and picking up false gold.